Please remember to subscribe my channel and click the bell button for notification if we upload a new video. So let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to Ami's vlog. This is Amisha Pradeep here and today I'm going to be doing another experiment. Today's experiment's name is Diving Octopus. So the materials required for this experiment are a bottle of water, a glass of water, and of course a diving octopus. I got this from my scientific kit. So let's get started with the experiment. Okay friends, our first step is to gently squeeze the octopus's body and dip it into the water taking in just enough water to fill two thirds full. Now that we have filled the octopus full with water, we're going to keep that aside. And now we're going to take the bottle full of water and open the cap and then place the octopus like this and then and then place the octopus into the bottle filled with water and adjust the amount of water inside the octopus to make it float in the level of the water inside the bottle and now we can screw the cap now now that our oct octopus is inside the bottle we have to gently squeeze the bottle and the octopus should sink to the bottom and when you stop squeezing the bottle the octopus should resurface make your octopus move up and down like it's alive wow that's incredible enjoy the beautiful view Okay friends, now I'm going to tell you how does it work. Unlike the diving submarine, the octopus floats because of air pressure. When you squeeze the bottle, the pressure inside increases. This compresses the air inside the octopus, allowing more water to enter so it becomes heavier and sinks. When you release the bottle, the pressure drops and the air in the octopus expands pushing some more water out and making it lighter so it floats to the surface again. Friends, do you want to know more about diving octopuses? Okay, I'll tell you. The diving octopus works the same way as a real submarine does. To dive, a submarine's ballast tanks are filled with water, which makes the submarine heavier. To surface, the water is blown out of the tanks with air. In water, the deeper you go, the higher the pressure becomes. Many fish have small gas-filled sac in their bodies that work in a similar fashion. Squeezing the sac makes the fish sink, while relaxing the sac makes the fish rise. Okay friends, so I hope you enjoy my simple experiment. You can also try this at home with your friends and family. Please remember to subscribe my channel and click the bell button for notification if we upload a new, new video. We'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye! Thank you for watching. This is Amishar Pradeep signing out.